about force. What is force? Children, a push or a pull exerted on an object when it interacts with another object. So children, when we uh, were discussing about the force, we also discussed about the types of force. So today, I am going to discuss about, in a brief, all the forces with the, all kinds of forces with their definitions and examples. And children, whenever you see your uh, chapter, your uh, page number 108, the question number C, complete the concept map. So this is the concept map, so the force is given, the name, and the types of forces. For muscular force, gravitational force, elastic force, and frictional force. So children, when we were discussing about the muscular force, we also discussed about the force exerted by the muscles of our body. And we saw a picture of a girl carrying the books with, uh, with the force, muscular force. So uh, we can set an example force being used to lift the books. So uh, anyone who are carrying the books in their hands, in his or her hands, they are applying the muscular force. So muscular force simply we can see that the, it, this force comes from muscles. And all of us uh, have read about that we have the muscles and with the skeletal muscles together, skeletal muscular force, uh, we can see that without muscles the skeleton cannot move. The second type of force is gravitational force, the force of the earth that pulls the object towards itself. So we discussed that whenever we threw a ball towards the sky, it, uh, it comes to uh, earth. Uh, so it goes without saying, so whenever we throw a leaf, uh, it comes, uh, after some time it comes to the earth because leaf is not having much mass and uh, when we throw uh, a kite, a kite falling uh, of a kite, we can see and the football and any other thing that we throw towards the sky comes to uh, our earth because the earth is having the gravitational force and all the things that are present on the earth is uh, pulling uh, by is pulled by the gravitational force of the earth. So this is the example of falling off kite. The third kind of force is elastic force, the force which helps an object regain the original shape after external force acting on it is removed. So we can say that we can see a bow and an arrow is shown here and catapult, you can see. So these are exerting the uh, elastic force. And the fourth uh, force is frictional force. So children, all of us know that the frictional force is very essential. When we talk about the force, we always talk about the frictional force. When you push a book on a table, it slides across the table, but then it stops after some time. This is what causes the book to stop. This is the frictional force. And all of us know we can see the grooves on a tire that really uh, helps a tire to stop very easily uh, on a rough surface to make it rough because all of us know when uh, we slide on ice it becomes difficult due to less friction and force. So girls playing the slide and when we slide the book on a uh, table it stops because just because of frictional force. So all these forces, muscular, gravitational, elastic and frictional force, uh, we uh, talked about these forces and what is force. This is all about force.